Driven by Mars 8.50 is out and it gives you new features to the machine uh, Micro 3. And we can finally light the pads. As you see here, we have different colors for the pads, which is really nice. And to use it, you first need to load into the machine the template that comes with the download of Driven by Moss. So you need to fire up the native instruments controller editor and there you need to click on open configuration and do you see in the folder of the driven by Moss download there is this resources folder machine mini mark 3 and it's called bitwig.ncc the previous file had a different extension and it's totally different so make sure you have the latest version bitwig.ncc is the correct one to import and this editor gives you luckily much more new features for example here the encoder button has now the option not only to have real relative turning not only an absolute value but we can have a push value and with push and release which was not there before and we also have touch so we get also the sensing of a touch sensor in there and especially helpful for all the other buttons we get a proper release value so we can have button states pressed and released and we have the color for the pads which is done by this trick here you need to say for midi in and indexed which also took me some time to figure out so thanks for the tip i got on the forum so if you have set up you can run the machine here in bitwig edit now the machine controller and if you forgot about how to do that by pressing the shift and that button up here you toggle between the normal machine and the midi mode i'm directly here in the play mode so with the play mode you see now we have here the coloring for the octaves you see the octaves here in blue and you have the other keys in white and if you press it it's also getting green so if you switch here to the drum layout you need to load a drum device to do that here on the drum machine you see which of the pads are actually filled and you see it also here in the color of the tom so if you change that you will also have the reflect this So this is also working nicely. For the other modes, let's quickly step through them. So if you go to mute, a mute is the idea you see the color of a track and if you mute it, it will get in this gray color. So the muted ones are the ones in gray. It's a different way if solo. In solo mode, everything is white. And if you enable solo, it will get the color of the track. For select, the selected one is in this bright white color. So you get an idea which one of the tracks are the selected ones. Duplicate is the same variation is here the selection of the parameters you can change in parameter mode so also now you see here which one of the parameters are currently selected for editing. We had that mode before and also here in pattern mode you see the clips and you see which one is recording in red and you also get here the clip coloring which is very helpful and same for scene if you color your scene for example you will also you need to change here to the next scene you will also get here the color of a scene so very helpful in navigating your way around on the device but that's not all the feature everybody was waiting for is note repeat and note repeat is also here available on the machine and micros so let's have here this piano sound and to enable note repeat i'd simply press the note repeat button and Yay, we have note repeat now. And you can also configure that on the device. If you long press the one, you can configure with these two columns the node period. And here you can configure the length. So you can go here slower. It's also shown in Bitwig what is the selected period. So it's one eighth now, one quarters. And here you also see the length of a note. And you can then go back here, press note repeat to play again. It's now very slow. Let's make it faster. Let's make it crazy fast. Yay! 
And you also get the settings here in a studio I.O. section. If you go here to the machine and scroll down a bit, you have also all the settings of a note repeat as well. And you get also some two additional features which I could not put here into the hardware. So you can change here the octave of the sequencer to go really wild or you can change the behavior of the sequencer for example to up down to play wild piano arpeggios and one last feature is i changed a bit the behavior of the encoder because now we get the touch information and we can also use button combinations so now to reset parameters we need to go here to parameters mode so we change now this color parameter maybe let's go to that one and change that one here to reset before you had to push it now you keep the erase button pressed here that one and just touch the controller and it will go back to its default value. The behavior of pushing the button is now, as you might have noticed, the knob feels now much better with not too much movement. You can go quite a distance, but if you want to do fine tuning now, you can simply click the button to move switch to the slow mode and then you can do very fine adjustments and this works now in every edit mode if you just click it you toggle between the fast and the slow one so same here for volume you can change now the volume very quickly before that you had to move a lot of turns and if you click it you can do some fine adjustments as well the exception from that is the tempo mode because in tempo mode if you press there the button several times it is tap tempo so you will change the tempo in that one but you can also do the changing between slow and fast. You just need to change that in one of the other modes. So currently we have fine tune change. If you go to volume, switch to fast change, go back to tempo. You can do the fast change as well. It's also different for the browser mode. So in browser mode, it will confirm your selection. So if you go there to select something, click on the knob and it will be your new selection. So much for for the machine micro i think it makes really fun by now this device especially now we have the colored pads and if you have it dig it make some funky music